Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about DC Fandom. We've got the official announcement about our DC TV shows, what we're going to be getting at DC Fandom. Just over a week away, you know, not very long at all, and we got some big news as in regards to our DC TV shows, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about The Flash first off because we've got some big news as in regards to The Flash and what's happening with their panel because they have a panel at DC Fandom so we've got all the information. It'll be on the screen right now or, you know, just listen. Okay, so The Flash panel is on Saturday, August 22nd and it's going to be doing a rerun later in the night. I don't particularly know how everything's going to work, if you miss the time will you be able to see it again or something like that, so we'll have to wait and see it as to how specifically DC Fandom works properly when it officially starts. But the first panel and you know when it's supposed to happen and I believe these are all pre-recorded because they have set times, like the Flash panel is set to be 40 minutes long so I believe they recorded it in like the last few weeks or something like that where they gathered together all the respective people for the different panels and the different events for DC Fandom. So the Flash cast and crew were gathered together and, you know, they have filmed a Flash panel. It's going to be Saturday, August 22nd. You're going to be able to access it at 6pm and this can be found in the Watch Verse in the Monarch section. So you guys will be able to navigate your way around and find the flash panel for 6 p.m. So make sure you get there on time. But anyway, so the big piece of information is in the synopsis of what we're going to be getting during this panel. So this is how it goes. Executive producer Eric Wallace joins cast members Grant Gustin, Candace Patton, Danielle Panabaker, Carlos Valdez, Danielle Nicolette, Kayla Compton and Brandon McKnight to discuss all things flash with Entertainment Weekly's Chancellor Agard. Team Flash will break down both parts of Season 6 and look ahead at what is to come with an exclusive trailer for Season 7. Fans will also get a look at the exclusive black and white noir episode Kiss Kiss Breach Breach which will be made available on the Flash Season 6 Blu-ray and DVD on August 25th and this panel will be 40 minutes long. So kind of the same length as a normal Comic Con panel it seems the Flash's panel is going to be the closest thing as to what we're going to be seeing at DC Fandom and what normally happens at San Diego Comic Con, so it seems very similar. Basically, they're going to look back at last season, you're going to have most of the cast there, obviously the big exclusion is like Tom Cavanaugh and I think there's like one or two people missing, but pretty much it's most of the cast. You've got Grant, you've got Candace, you've got Danielle, Carlos, you know, they're the main ones, and you've got Danielle Nicolette, Kayla Compton and Brandon McKnight who are sort of just below because the other cast members like Grant, Candice, Danielle and Carlos have been there since the very start, that's what I mean by below, just you know they joined a bit later, that's it. So nothing against them because I'm very excited to see a full stack lineup of a cast because not all of the shows have a full stack lineup like this. So Team Flash will break down both parts of season 6 and we'll look ahead at what's to come in season 7. So they'll break down both parts of season 6, so that means they're looking retrospectively back at season 6, look at the sort of graphic novel sections of the season, so what happened at the start of the season, they will look back at that and break it down, like what did that all mean, you know, with blood work and everything, what it means for the future essentially, and then the back half of the season, which was obviously cut short, so I'm expecting a lot of talk about what was supposed to happen, at the end of the season, at the end of season 6, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing them break it down, but the most exciting thing about this piece of information, and I think the most exciting thing about this schedule being released is the fact that we're going to be getting an exclusive trailer for season 7 of The Flash, so I called it guys, I told you, we're going to be getting a new Flash trailer for season 7 because they did in fact shoot footage for episode 20 and they can use that to form a trailer and I've been saying this all along, same with Supergirl but you know we'll talk about Supergirl later probably in another video but we're getting that exclusive first trailer like we would normally get at Comic Con and that is why I said this panel seems to be like the closest thing that we would get to like a actual Comic Con event because you know they talk about the past season, they talk about what's to come in the new season and then they look ahead with a trailer for the next season, they always do that at Comic Con, there's always a trailer, it's such a good experience being there 
when that first trailer dropped. So we were there last year, San Diego Comic Con, with the cast, with Eric Wallace and everything, and it was just so cool seeing the trailer first drop. So similar idea here, and you know, I think it's really exciting. So what you're gonna see is footage from episode one of season seven because they've only shot episode one. They haven't finished episode one. They're gonna go back and shoot some extra scenes for it, but the trailer will be comprised of what was supposed to be episode 20. So I think they will get the coolest shots. I made a what to expect in the Flash season seven trailer video recently. Basically what they normally do at Comic Con, they have a sort of mini recap of the last season, so season 6, so you have a few bits from here and there about how it ended, what was the major plot points of last season, and then what will progress into season 7, so from that you can sort of interpret that you're probably going to get some stuff to do with Eva because she is the looming threat that is still around, they're going to be defeating her in like the first three episodes or something like that. So I'm guessing because this episode, episode 20, was supposed to be the episode where Iris breaks out, I'm guessing you have some Iris stuff in the trailer where she's in the Mirrorverse. We have been confirmed that we're going to find out what has been going on with her. And then also you've got the other stuff like what's to come in episode 20 as in regards to like Barry being the Flash. You'll get a few cool Flash shots hopefully as we normally do. Something to get you very excited. Maybe a little cliffhanger at the end of the trailer, they like to do that at Comic Con. Obviously we kind of know where episode 1 is heading towards, we know it's heading towards an ending around episode 3 of this season because they're wrapping up what would have been the end of season 6 at the start of season 7, so that first trailer, maybe we've seen some behind the scenes stuff for it already, but we don't know. Or for instance, there was this behind the scenes footage that was released by Grant, there was a clip and it's with Barry, he's sliding down off of like a building or something or he's just sliding on something and they shot that on like a green screen. I'm guessing we're gonna get something like that, like a cool shot, like a cool movement, kind of like that in the trailer because you know, that will get fans hyped and I'm very hyped just at the fact that we've got confirmation of the season seven trailer because we were all questioning it, like is it gonna happen and I was adamant it's gonna happen and I'm very happy that it's happening. Okay, so let's move on to the last bit of it. So fans will also get a look at the exclusive black and white noir episode, Kiss Kiss Breach Breach. So you remember back at, you know, roughly the start of last season, you had Kiss Kiss Breach Breach. I think Danny Trejo returned in this episode. Do you remember there was a trailer and it was in black and white, but most of the episode didn't turn out to be in black and white. So they actually shot it to be like black and white. I'm not sure. I think they did it like afterwards like in color grading but they're going to be releasing that on the flash season 6 blu-ray and dvd which is coming out august 25th so it's pretty damn good timing it's like three days later after this so it's a good way to sort of debut a look at that and get people excited because that's another cool thing to look forward to you know when you get that dvd or blu-ray because you'll get a new episode that is just looks different and feels different so I'm very excited to, for this black and white episode. So that will be like a mini trailer or like a sneak peek, a clip, as in regards to what we will be getting in that Blu-ray or DVD. So that's going to be a few days after. So remember guys, the Flash panel, Saturday, August 22nd, 6pm in the Watchverse in the Monarch section. So make sure you've got your schedules ready. Get ready for that. That is a 40 minute panel. Schedule it around everything that you can. And I'm not sure if you can go back to the panel or not, but there is a repeat later in the evening, so no problem about that. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And look out for my next video, which is going to be in regards to Supergirl and DC Fandom. So anyway, let me know in the comments down below, are you excited for The Flash and their panel for Season 7? Considering we're going to be getting a trailer, a new look at Kiss Kiss Breach Breach, the black and white noir episode. What are your thoughts on all of this? Are you excited like me? And please be sure to get the Season 6 Blu-ray and DVD just a few days after on the 25th. Because it's going to be great. I plan on getting it. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.